Danielle Wexler with Tech Grills. And this is our infrared grill tray. And the reason why I love this accessory is because it provides so much more versatility to your tech grill. You can do so many different things on it, and the bonus is that it takes the mess out of your kitchen and puts it on your grill. To use the infrared grill tray, you're going to place it on top of our infrared smoker roaster or directly on the grates of the grill. The way I like to use this infrared grill tray is for more delicate items like shellfish, vegetables, things that are small and might fall through the grates of the grill. I'm going to show you three different ways that we like to use the infrared grill tray. The first thing I want to show you is how to make breads and quick breads on the infrared grill tray. So today I'm making some cinnamon rolls and I have them baking on my grill tray here. Let me tell you a little bit about the technique of how I did this. First thing you want to do is put your infrared smoker roaster on the grill and you're going to preheat that on low for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I took my infrared grill tray into the kitchen and I put my cinnamon rolls on the infrared grill tray. I don't want to preheat my infrared grill tray in advance because I want to make sure that my biscuits and cinnamon rolls are going to cook evenly. When I bring it out, then I just slide the tray right into the infrared smoker roaster. And again, as I mentioned, the smaller slots are going to keep the dough from falling into the, the grates of the grill. The great thing about putting it on the infrared smoker roaster is that it raises the cooking surface above the grate so that you're going to get a nice even cooking all around. The top's going to cook at the same rate as the bottom. It only takes about 8 to 10 minutes for the cinnamon rolls to bake and then you can enjoy them right hot off the grill. The next thing I'd like to show you how to grill on the infrared grill tray is shellfish and vegetables. As I mentioned, the smaller slots of the infrared grill tray make it perfect for shellfish because they won't fall through the cracks. But the infrared grill tray makes it super easy to be able to effortlessly grill shrimp and vegetables with no problem. Okay, now I'd like to show you the last way that we like to use the infrared grill tray, which is to put it directly on the grill grates themselves. And the way I want to show you how to do that is to make a one-pan supper. What I've done is to chop up some of my very favorite vegetables and meats in different sizes so that they'll all cook evenly on the infrared grill tray. The important thing to note is when you're grilling directly on the grates with the infrared grill tray, you want to preheat the infrared grill tray at the same time that you preheat your grill. So you're going to want to put the infrared grill tray on the grate, close the hood, and turn the heat on to about medium to medium high for about 10 minutes. And then when you're ready to go ahead and grill all these wonderful vegetables and meats that you have, you're just going to lay it out onto the, the grill tray in a single layer. And then as it roasts, you'll just use a spatula to just gently toss it, just kind of as if you're doing a stir fry. And then at the end of your grilling, when everything's all nice and juicy, then I like to take something like a little bit of balsamic vinegar or a marinade, and I'll just drizzle it right over the top of my food. So thank you for watching about the infrared grill tray today. For more recipes, how-tos, and videos, please check out our backyard blog at techinfrared.com.